What's up guys, John Hammond here, coming back at you with another Natus video from the Over the Wire War Games. Um, we just got the password for level 8. Uh, I pasted it into a new script um, with the correct username and all. Um, I do need to clean up the URL so that we go to the right place. And we don't need to view our regular expression attack anymore or search, we just want to see the uh, raw response to the webpage. So let's see what we got here. We can check this out, check out the response. Um, looks like this is asking for another input secret, and um, it gives us the source code of the website. So let's go ahead and see if we can get this source code here. If I can move over the connection. Okay, now that that is requested, we can go ahead and run that de-entitize um, plug-in code that we hit it before, and let's go ahead and actually tidy up this HTML so we can read it, too. And again, we'll do the same um, HTML de-entitized, because some of them were still stuck in here. Okay, so we've got some more PHP code. We can tell because of these guys here. It looks like all the break breaks just managed to stick in here. The new line characters just become breaks. That's stupid. I'm sorry. We can view this in the web browser if we really wanted to. In fact, let's do that just to kind of make things a little bit easier and remind you that you can do that. <laughs> I know that um, it's kind of different for me doing this stuff all in Python, but what the heck? Just wanted to remind you that you can do this stuff in the web browser. Obviously, that's the real point of the, the war game, but doing some really neat stuff with Python is, is cool too. Okay, so we've got an encoded secret, and it looks like hex, right? It looks like there's a function called encode secret for secret. There's an argument that we pass into it. Again, PHP variables, the dollar sign. Looks like it will return bin to hex string reverse base64 encode secret. Wow. Okay, um, we're checking if the array key exists, submit. Okay, so if the form is submitted, if we actually post to it, it will run encode secret. It'll, so it'll run this function on what we submitted, what we passed to it. And if it's equal to this encoded secret, it will give us the password for Natus 9. Okay, so we just have to kind of reverse what this is doing. Hmm. Okay. Well, what is happening here? First, they base64 encode this, and then they reverse it, and then they turn it to hex. So, hmm. If we're trying to do the opposite of this, if we're trying to bring this backwards, let's see what this is in bin, or binary, I think. I don't know if you have PHP installed, but um, I think I do, PHP 7.0. If we echo just this. Oh, we might need to make a script for it. Which, PHP 7.0. Okay, it's a thing. Let's go ahead and create a uh, second. Natus 8.py. Just, just, oh no, I've it, Natus 8.php. This is going to be a PHP script. We're going to work with the code. If you haven't done this, uh, if you haven't had installed uh, PHP before, you should be able to sudo apt install like PHP 7.0 tax CLI or something. You can check the repositories with sudo apt cache search if you need to. But um, when we ran which PHP 7.0, that was user bin. So let's get our shebang line. User bin PHP. 7.0. Set the syntax here to PHP for us. Okay, I guess our shebang line is just kind of going to look like that. <laughs> Let's echo. Do I have anything in this PHP? I don't have any syntax highlighting in this thing. Okay, whatever. Echo that out. Can I run this? Can... Will PHP work here? 
Seemingly not. <laughs> Looks like I broke my build command. Okay, whatever. Oh, I probably need a semicolon here. PHP 7.0, second.php. Great. Mm, oh, we need to actually put that in PHP stuff. Duh! Now let's set syntax for PHP. We need to actually have the question mark braces around it. So when I run this, is it any better? Nope. How about we make that executable? Let's remove the old Python script one. Not having it. Hmm. Are you kidding me? Okay, so you have to denote it with the um, question mark PHP. I'm sorry, guys. That was probably pretty torturous. Didn't mean to. Didn't mean for you to have to watch all that. <laughs> Okay, the new line will stick in there if we run it just like that. Okay, so now we can run the opposite of these PHP functions. So bin to hex is a thing in PHP, and there is certainly a hex to bin function, I would think. Yep, noted in the C also section here. Decodes a hexadecimally encoded binary string. So let's run that hex to bin on this thing. Now this looks like base64 except it's backwards so they had ran str rev on this, right? If we run this, okay now it is base64 encoded and we can do what was the function called? Base64 encode? We can do base64 decode. Neat. And this should be the secret that we want. Okay. Let's go ahead and put this back in our Natus 8 thing here. Let's go to make a request here post request now, and let's say the data, again going to be a dictionary, so curly braces, secret was this string that we just discovered, and we do want to include that submit variable as well, so the program actually, so it actually knows that we are submitting. So let's run this, see what we get here. we are still requesting to index source. So let's go back to the original root page and access granted. Password for Natus9 is this thing. So I didn't do a whole lot here to really reverse this other than explore PHP code within PHP code. And I literally just kind of worked backwards from what they had because the final function that we saw them run was bin to hex. And obviously this looks like hex, right? So I kind of worked from the outside in, in a weird way, and just worked backwards. Hex to bin, reverse the string, decode the base64, and keep displaying it on the screen so I can work with it. Um, and that's it. You can do command line scripts with PHP. You don't have to all be in a web server. And that's a really cool thing to note. Um, it's actually really powerful if you tend to like PHP for the programming syntax and the semantics, because you can still use it at the command line, just like we just did, except for a little bit of uh, troubleshooting. <laughs> My bad, but hope still, hope you guys are learning some things, hope you guys are enjoying this series. Um, we will get the password out of here, and we'll call it quits for this video. Should be able to just... Paste this here, steal the password out of this, and save this as natus9.py, and we're ready to rock for uh, the next level. Let's keep moving. All right. See you guys in the next video.